In this video, I will show you how to airbrush ghost flames. So this video, I've also included a file you can download and print, and then you can cut this out. I sketched this out just so they'll fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So cut that out with your X-Acto knife as carefully as you can. And it should look basically like this when you're done. So cut that out and then come back here to the video and I'll show you how to continue. So. You're going to take the outside of the flames that you cut from. And I would recommend cutting in some little squares or rectangle shapes right there. And then let's go ahead and tape this perfectly on top of the other piece of paper that you're going to airbrush on. Or whatever you're going to airbrush on. If you got a car part, that's even cooler. But paper is good for practice. And then get all the wrinkles out, get everything kind of pushed down to where it needs to be. And then put some tape over those little cutouts that you did. This is how you can do ghost flames with paper stencils. Most of the time, if it's a motorcycle tank, you will lay this out with fine line tape and you will outline everything with this tape and you'll fill in the outsides. All of this will be filled in with regular tape and then you'll airbrush like I'm gonna show you now. So I've got some dark blue mixed up. So when you're doing ghost flames, you wanna just airbrush right along the inside of the flame. And what you wanna really try to do is keep everything really smooth. So watch my basic introductory airbrushing videos for how to keep things moving. The airbrush is moving as you pull back for paint and it's moving as you let go. And you, gotta, you have to keep that technique in mind when you're doing ghost flames, otherwise they're gonna look not smooth. They'll be kind of a blotch of paint, blotch of paint versus being really smooth. So this is how to do ghost flames. Airbrush right along the edge. And I do it in a couple different passes, usually three or four, building the intensity of the color each time. And then since this is paper, if it was tape, you would not have to help hold this down. If it's paper, you can kind of help hold that down. making sure the tips of the flames get plenty of color. That's usually missed. If you're careful about the angle and you keep the airbrush perpendicular to the surface, it will help hold the paper in place when you're using paper stencils. So the inside of these loops of the flames, you can see I'm just going multiple passes back and forth, still using that same dagger stroke from the beginner airbrush videos. down and we'll peel this off and see how we did. Nice clean and classy ghost flames.
Another way you can use this flame stencil is to do the reverse for ghost flames. You just tape it up on top of a regular piece of paper and then airbrush on the outside. Right now I'm focused on this top lick of the flame. The air pressure is what's holding the paper down. this up and you can see you've got some reverse ghost flames. So both of those techniques are used quite a bit in custom painting.